This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Good evening, I'm Holly Buchanan. Yesterday evening, emergency service personnel were called to North Road after a car left the road. Crews from fire, police and ambulance attended the scene where the car lost contact with the tar seal and slid over a bank. A police spokesperson says the driver was lucky to escape injury, but the car was left tangled in vines. The driver was the sole occupant of the car and was rescued by emergency services personnel. Dunedin's pop-up Penguin Hospital completed a successful surgery on a patient this morning. The snares crested penguin sustained a large abdominal wound after being bitten by a barracuda. A snares crested penguin who sustained an abdominal injury is up and about following a successful surgery. The South today met the little penguin at the Otago Polytechnic School of Veterinary Nursing yesterday. The Yellow-Eyed Penguin Trust has set up a temporary penguin hospital at the school for six weeks. The penguin went under the knife this morning after being bitten by a barracuda. He was found at Karka Point and brought into the clinic by the Department of Conservation following the injury. He was operated on by Dr Lisa Argilla, who has moved to Dunedin for the summer to care for injured birds. She says she is hopeful of a good long-term outcome. It's pretty massive, so it's going to be quite um, complex trying to fix him because we need to get their feathers um, perfectly aligned and they need to have feather coverage all around their body. It's a bit like a wetsuit because these guys need to be waterproof when they're swimming. And um, if there's even a little deficit where water can get under the feathers, um, he'll get really cold and then waterlogged. So um, he's got a long way ahead of him. Post-surgery, the penguin was soon back up on his feet and is expected to make a full recovery. Roselle LeBone, The South Today. Two jet-powered stalwarts of the Warbirds over Wanaka International Air Show are heading for Vegas. The BAC Strike Master jets have featured at the last three Warbirds shows, but have now been sold by Brett Nichols to Vegas-based Blue Air Training. The Blunties, as they're known, will perform in New Zealand for the final time at the Classic Flyers Air Show in Tauranga tomorrow. Explaining his decision to sell, Nicol says Blue Air Training already had eight Strike Masters and have recently secured most of the world's supply of spare parts. He believed keeping the aircraft flying in New Zealand would have become increasingly difficult and significantly more expensive. A search is underway for a swimmer reported missing in rough conditions at Dunedin's Brighton Beach. Police responded mid-morning after hearing a person was seen in the water by a member of the public. Police and surf lifesavers initially used their inflatable rescue boat in the search, but had to return to shore due to rough conditions. A helicopter was called in, but the crew didn't see the swimmer. In a statement this afternoon, police say they'd deployed three Landsar teams who were searching the coast for any signs of a person who'd left the water. Police would like to hear from anyone who may have seen the person who is described as wearing loose black clothing and of small build. Still to come on the South today, racing fans in Invercargill can look forward to an action-packed weekend and Dunedin's Regent Theatre is about to be filled with the sound of many drums. Emu oil has been used for centuries to support joint mobility and tired muscles. Also helpful for supporting healthy skin. Available as oil or in capsules, go to www.silverhorn.co.nz to order emu oil today. Every reason, every season, we're proud to dress the region. Alex Campbell Menswear, it fits. some more joy into your world by adopting one of our adult animals at SPCA Otago. Call now on 473 8252. Please adopt a pet now, they will love you forever. Travelling this weekend? Think slow. Here is this week's Mole Map UV report. 
Did you know UV radiation can penetrate through clouds, meaning you can still get sunburned on a cloudy day? If you've ever been on a sunbed or been badly sunburnt, what are the chances you could have melanoma? Remove the doubt. Get a mole map. We're at 25 Moreau Place at Dogwood Towers Cafe and Bar. So we take coffee very seriously. We do what's called contract roasting, so we're creating our own roasting profile and then doing our own blends. We're, we're really focused on the craft of what we're doing. You know, we're going back, instead of going on mass-produced sort of cheap things, we're taking the time to really craft what we're making. Make it so anyone can come here and have a, have a feed um, and be able to get something they're able to eat or they, or they want to eat as well. You're kind of getting a taste of cafes from all around the world when you come here. For over 35 years, Rosalind Mowers and Heating have been selling and servicing outdoor power equipment and are well established in home heating, installing wood fires. Call in and meet the friendly team. Rosalind Mowers and Heating, 150 Kaikarai Valley Road. Granddad loved his family and surfing in that order. He taught me to surf and we spent a lot of time in the water together over the years. When he died, I strapped the camera to the nose of his old board and filmed the paddle out at St. Clair. Gillian's played the video on the big screen at his funeral. Granddad would have loved having everyone come out one last surf for them. Gillian's Funeral Services, helping families celebrate the lives of their loved ones for generations. Gillian's.co.nz Active Furnishers Limited, home of quality service with superior product and an in-house design team who are always happy to advise and create an imaginative solution for you. Active Furnishers Limited, part of Dunedin's design history. From rare to the recent, visit the legendary hard to find for your quality second-hand books with the largest stock in New Zealand and a friendly book-loving atmosphere. For good prices, buying or selling, come visit 20 Dowling Street. When it's time to say goodbye to your pet, Heaven Sent Pet Cremations are here to help you through this difficult experience. Call Heaven Sent Pet Cremations today for their care and guidance. Phone 489 2274. Watch your seatbelts on for this one and rev it up. Thursday night is Motorsport Night. Proudly brought to you by multi award winning Garador. Welcome back. This weekend, the centre of Dunedin is set to reverberate to the sound of many drums as the Regent Theatre hosts Drum Eden. Members of the University of Otago's Otaiko group are due to play for two 12-hour periods in a 24-hour fundraising event. Last minute, stamina training. The Otaiko troupe will be drumming up a storm this weekend at the Regent Theatre in a 24-hour marathon of Japanese-inspired drumming. The event is a fundraiser for the Dunedin Night Shelter Trust and Otaiko's coordinator says they got a lot of support. There will be lots of visiting performers, um, lots of local musicians have got behind the event and they'll be coming along to play their own thing and then we as Taiko players will be accompanying them and that gives us an opportunity to keep the Taiko sounds going but also to accompany some other events at the same venue. The Regent will be open to the public from noon on Saturday the 21st until 7pm and from 7am on Sunday until noon. Johnson says the drumming marathon is going to be taxing on the troupe as they typically play shorter sets. Yeah, usually our performances, we're often asked to play for 20 minutes, half an hour. We do that on quite a regular basis, maybe through two or three times a month usually. We sometimes, well, we, we usually have our own end of year performance, which might actually last one and a half to two hours. Um, and then we change around players quite a lot. 
Um, over 24 hours, it will be quite a marathon. Uh, we will be breaking out into a lot of sweat, I think. Uh, the challenges will be blisters. I've started getting a blister already, so we will have to patch up the fingers. Entry is by gold coin donation, and those who are keen can make a further donation and drum on stage with the Otaiko Troop. All proceeds are going towards the Dunedin Night Shelter Trust. Daryl Bazer, The South Today. After the break on The South Today, Cromwell's classic car and hot rod show kicks off with hundreds of cars on display. And we'll find out what's in store for weather over the weekend. Emu oil has been used for centuries to support joint mobility and tired muscles. Also helpful for supporting healthy skin. Available as oil or in capsules, go to www.silverhorn.co.nz to order emu oil today. is this week's Mole Map UV report. Did you know UV radiation can penetrate through clouds, meaning you can still get sunburnt on a cloudy day? If you've ever been on a sunbed, or been badly sunburnt, what are the chances you could have melanoma? Remove the doubt. Get a Mole Map. some more joy into your world by adopting one of our adult animals at SPCA Otago. Call now on 473-8252. Please adopt a pet now. They will love you forever. Travelling this weekend? Think slow. We're at 25 Moreau Place at Dogwood Towers Cafe and Bar. So we take coffee very seriously. We do what's called contract roasting, so we're creating our own roasting profile and then doing our own blends. We're, we're really focused on the craft of what we're doing. You know, we're, we're going back, instead of going on mass-produced, sort of cheap things, we're taking the time to really craft what we're making. Make it so anyone can come here and have a, have a feed um, and be able to get something they're able to eat or they, or they want to eat as well. You're kind of getting a taste of cafes from all around the world when you come here. For over 35 years, Roslyn Mowers and Heating have been selling and servicing outdoor power equipment and are well established in home heating, installing wood fires. Call in and meet the friendly team. Roslyn Mowers and Heating, 150 Kaikarai Valley Road. Active Furnishers Limited, home of quality service with superior product and an in-house design team who are always happy to advise and create an imaginative solution for you. Active Furnishers Limited, part of Dunedin's design history. Every reason, every season, we're proud to dress the region. Alex Campbell Menswear, it fits. From rare to the recent, visit the legendary hard to find for your quality secondhand books. With the largest stock in New Zealand and a friendly book loving atmosphere. For good prices, buying or selling, come visit 20 Dowling Street. Put your seatbelts on for this one and rev it up. Thursday night is Motorsport Night. Proudly brought to you by multi-award winning Garador. Welcome back. More than 600 of the flashiest cars in the south are rolling into Cromwell at this very moment for the town's classic car and hot rod show. This 1964 Australian-made Ford Falcon was one of the earliest arrivals, having been driven to Cromwell from Christchurch by newlyweds Jamie and Ingrid Bunning. Uh, whose car is this? Uh, my partner's Jamie's. Darling, your husband. Oh, sorry, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's it like to travel in? It's quite cool, actually. Very cool. Old school, rattly and 
Uzi. Uh, I've, I've been in the cars my whole life and I've, you know, that's what you do. Just spend your money on your toys. The Cromwell Show is hosted by the Southland Ford Falcon Club, but there are many other makes and models on display. Organisers say the show includes everything from an old Vauxhall to the 1969 Dodge Charger that starred on the Dukes of Hazard television programme. And now recapping tonight's top stories on the South Today. Southland Cycling Year is putting the rubber on the road with the ILT New Year's Track Carnival starting tonight ahead of a weekend of events. The Snares Crested Penguin, who sustained an abdominal injury following a barracuda attack, is up and about following a successful surgery. And a rescue just south of Dunedin is continuing after a swimmer was spotted in rough seas off Brighton Beach this morning. And time now for a look at tomorrow's weather. The South Today weather update proudly brought to you in association with Silverhorns Emu Oil. Starting with today's southern view, taken of Lake Wakatipu. Looking at the situation, another depression will move over New Zealand tomorrow night, bringing increasing cloud and rain. To the southern outlook, freshening northerlies, late rain and 16 for Balclutha, Catlins, Gore and Lumsden. To the central outlook, freshening northerlies, late rain and 15 for Alexandra, Queenstown, Tiano and Wanaka. To the northern outlook, moderate nor'easters, cloud increasing and 17 for Omaru and Timaru. Freshening nor'easters, late rain and 15 for Omarama and Twizel. Here in Dunedin tonight, it'll be fine with some cloud with an overnight low of 9. Sunny periods at first tomorrow, but cloud increasing during the day and nor'easters and some rain developing from evening. Cloudy with periods of rain on Sunday and strong to gale force southwesters developing. And in Invercargill, it'll be cloudy tonight with moderate westerlies and an overnight low of 9. Mild and northerlies freshening tomorrow with cloud increasing and some rain from evening, 15 degrees. Periods of rain easing to showers Sunday and strong to gale force southwesters developing with a high of 11. Leaving you now with some images from the week that was.
This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.